What's poppin', baby? Talk to me, spirit. I have already said with the ancestors, I am the voice of the voiceless. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do curse. So if cursing offends you, then I am not the reader for you. What it do, talk to me, spirit family. Thank you for the love, the shares, the support for those that are subscribing. If I can get up to a thousand followers, <coughs> I will bless three people chosen by spirit for a past life regression okay where i will hypnotize you and you can find out either some generational curses or what traumas you or who you were in a past life i delayed because i spent time by the river the sweet waters i gave a um a offering to pachimama i gave a offering to the sweet water uh, spirits. If you do give an offering to sweet water spirits, it must be an egg with honey and you have to taste it. You can give coins, you can give small pumpkins, you can give, you can leave fruit, crackers, bread by the tree, okay? This will help with mother nature. This will also help them to bless you financially when you give offerings, okay? And also the hug the tree. A lot of y'all are connected to trees. So it's very important that you connect with Pachi Mama, Mama Earth, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, whatever you call her. You are part of Earth. You need to return and release it. When you release negativity unto the Earth, back to Pachi Mama or Mother Earth, she composes it. She transmutes the negative energy that you're going through back in positivity and she gives it to you all right let's get into the message for today thank you all that supported my podcast yesterday the podcast yesterday i appreciate it okay one more card spirit Ooh, there is one card i forgot i didn't do it a lot of y'all are your second chakra well basically it's your third because you have your earth star chakra and you have your root chakra. Then you have your uh, second chakra, which is your sacral. Then you have your solar chakra. We have a total of 22 chakras. People do only talks about the seven, but we have them all. We have them in our feet, in our ears, in our hands, all through our body, under our root chakra, above our crown, all right? But a lot of y'all are Y'all going through it right now because we are in uh, retrograde. So Taurus is in retrograde. We also went through a solar storm. So a lot of y'all are going through it. But y'all going through it for a reason. You could be 36 years old. 36 break down to 9. A lot of y'all wounded healers. Y'all learning not to trust humans. You learning to trust in your spiritual team. So a lot of y'all are going through it right now to make a better version of you. All right. Spirit is teaching y'all patience. Never ask for patience. The reason why you never ask for patience, because they will humble you so much that you can get it on your deathbed. Never ask for patience. Let them teach you patience, okay? Because they know how much patience to put on you. Also, never ask for strength. Stop saying, give me strength to make it through this, because they will add on to your battles to your burdens so you never ask for strength and you never ask for patience you could be born on april 16 may 16 december 16 september 16 16 breaks down to seven which is a completion of spirituality you are becoming one you're starting to surrender you're starting to say i don't want to fight anymore i surrender it is your way or the highway Okay, a lot of y'all going through the healer of the ages. A lot of y'all learning that y'all are a light bringer. You are an empath. Both light bringers or empaths are very intuitive. Light bringers know how to transmute what's not theirs back to the universe or back to the sender. Empaths, y'all think what y'all feeling is yours. As an empath, you have to learn that it's not yours. You need to start asking yourself, when, who, where, why, and how. You should always question yourself. You should always talk to yourself in third person. You could be 51 years old. You can know someone that's 51. 
Okay, 51 breaks down to six. Victories is yours, baby. A lot of y'all, the ascended masters are working with you, walking with you, and teaching you. Some of y'all are not going to ever, 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 ever have a human guide, have a human mentor. The ascended masters or spirits are your mentors or your guides. Right now, people are thinking about you. They thinking like, damn, he or she is powerful. He or she is strong. Where are they getting this at? Let them think, but baby, they can't touch you. If you how to how do you walk in your power? You always hear me say this. You learn criticism. You learn to become friends with your demons, the things that you don't like about yourself. You got to also know that the enemy's tactic is to get you in your head. You must play spirituality like chess. Chess is a very mental game. You have to keep your mental status up because if, if you let one drop of fear get in, it's going to just end game, game over. And I'm speaking from experience. I have went through it, but you know, and as humans, we get in our head, but you got to understand, we do not have the spirit of fear because Yahweh did not give us the spirit of fear. Fear is something we built on. You do not let fear take over you. You do not let fear consume you. You face it and run or you face it arise. But there is someone thinking of you. This can be negativity, people. And also good people because there's always both. You can't have one without the other. But this person is thinking like, wow, maybe I need to get with this person. Wow, I need to get in touch. I like this person's energy. Just because they like your energy doesn't mean they fit for you. There's two reasons people come into your life to help lift you and to help destroy you. So you have to understand the difference. You're gonna to have to use your gift of discernment and your gift of intuition. Once again, you hear me say this, he never said it was going to be easy. If something easy coming to your life, that is not of Yahweh, that is not of God. He said weapons would form, but they would not prosper. You have to do your part too. This is where faith come in. And I'm talking from experience. Faith is what's going to get you through. Staying mentally strong is what's going to get you through. Okay? Ask them to reveal your enemies to you. You're not going to like what they tell you. So be ready for when it hurts your feelings when they start uh, revealing it to you. You could be 46 years old. Okay? A lot of y'all are have a hard time of letting go. Spirit said, you got to let go before you go through the eye of a needle. It it's hard for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. That's how hard it is for y'all to let go and trust spirits. You have to let go of the past. You are not your past. The past is not you. It's dead. It's gone. It will not come back. You will not forget it, but you got to let it go before you can move on to the next chapter. Spirit is saying you got to let it go. People, places, things, attachments. Okay? The energy is changing for y'all. You're starting to notice some energy is not good energy. Okay? It's repeating the same thing. All right? True love is coming in, but baby spirit said, you got to choose you first. You got to love you first. You got to teach yourself how you want to be loved before someone else can uh, give you the love that you're seeking and desiring. You have to fall in love with spirits. You have to fall in love with the divine. Okay? Fall in love with you. Stop speaking death over you. Speak life. Start speaking positivity. Words or spells. Start saying, I am confident. I am unbreakable. I am love. I am beautiful. I have every right to be here just like anybody else. I do not owe anybody no apology because I don't care what nobody think. Okay? You have to give the energy of love. Once you get the energy of love and put it out there, then people will be able to smell it and to hear it and to vibrate on your energy. A lot of y'all keep going back and forth, back and forth. You have to make up your freaking mind what you want to do. 
Are you going to walk the spiritual path? Are you going to be a human? We are a full body of consciousness in a human body. You got to stop confusing this universe. When you confuse them, they say, you know what? She ain't ready. He ain't ready. Fuck it. I'm going to give their blessings to somebody else. A lot of y'all are not letting go of the past and your true love, your real relationship is not coming in. You want to know what the hold up is? Spirit said, you're the hold up. You still have things that's triggering you and Spirit said, let it go. All right, let it go. A lot of y'all are being idolized at this time. Y'all being loved, respected, admired. You have biggest fans. But you also can also understand your enemy is your greatest fan. All right? Start paying attention. Start looking for the signs. All right? Also, Spirit is saying, stop idolizing people. Y'all are idolizing people. Y'all putting people on a certain platform, and then you get angry with a person when they don't succeed what you want them to succeed. All right? We are human. Everyone is human. No one is perfect. No human knows everything. Stop idolizing people. Okay? You only supposed to idolize the universe, the most high, Yahweh. All right, but some of y'all are going too far and y'all getting mad because this person is not what you thought they was to be. You don't put no idolization on anyone. All right, someone is giving up their chance because you won't let the past go. You have missed the, uh, um, you have missed your boat. Your boat came and gone because you keep holding on to the past. This was your last chance on a serious relationship because you keep opening up the door to the past you keep opening doors to those karmatic relationships and spirit said you had him you had her and hello but they lost their chance or you did because you don't let go you gotta let it go and some of y'all are going into that boss daddy boss mama uh energy y'all starting to bring in that vibration of stability rich business owner ceo big dick energy big poom poom energy when you are free will you have to speak it i am a self-made millionaire i am successful i am powerful i am wealthy i am walking in my healing i am very blessed I am this. You are saying it so the universe can give it to you. You have to keep the vibration going. A lot of y'all are not doing it. Okay? A lot of y'all are not doing it. A lot of y'all going through, like I said, y'all going through bad karma right now. It's because y'all not becoming friends with your demons. You're not doing shadow work. You're not letting go of what no longer resonates with you. You keep holding grudges. You wonder why you're not healing. You're wondering you're not moving because you're not forgiving yourself and you're not forgiving others. You forgive them for their ignorance and you move on. You forgive them for you so they no longer have power over you. Y'all have been waiting and waiting and waiting and you wonder why you're not moving. You wonder why you stop because you hold it on to grudges. You're not letting go. You keep going through closed doors that should have been closed long time ago. That's the reason why you're not moving forward. That's the reason why you're not getting a relationship that you desire. That's the reason why you're not getting healed because you're not letting go. You're missing out on your blessings because you're holding on to grudges. You're not forgiving. You keep holding on to this karmatic shit, okay? You think you can fix it, baby. Apparently you can't because what you're doing, you're fucking up the rotation more, okay? Y'all missing out on your blessings. Spirit said, let it go. And some of your family is suffering because you're holding on to grudges. Some of your family is suffering is because you mad at a certain people and you keeping the kids from your grandkids. You keeping the kids from the other side of the family because you holding grudges. That's not the kid's fault. That's between you and that person. A lot of y'all are not 
um, releasing other people's energy when you're doing tarot readings, any type of divination. Anytime you tap that ass, when you get done, you thank spirits, their spirits, and you release that person. If you don't, you constantly going to feel everything that they're going through. And also, when you release it, you close that portal. A lot of y'all are getting a spiritual gift. This is eternal love. Spirit saying y'all are getting ready to get this agape love. You have your ancestors, your ascended ancestors coming in. A lot of y'all are getting a gift to live a long life, to grow old, 83, 88, 99. Some of these people are not blessed to get that gift. Some of y'all are getting a gift that your kids will see 21 and up. Some of y'all are getting a gift to be able to see your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Some of y'all are getting a gift that you're not being appreciated. Some of y'all friendship is getting ready to blossom more. Spirit is saying, amp up your protection, call back your, your energy, your time, your money, your magic, your gifts, known and unknown from people because you have a lot of energy vampires around them. Once again, my condolences, someone is gonna hear about a death in the family. My heart goes out to you, but that is the law of the land. Okay, what other messages do we have for them, Spirit? Taking back your power. A lot of y'all are fiery. You need to act like you're fiery. A lot of y'all are light bringers. You speak the truth. Continue to speak the truth. It doesn't matter if people receive it or not. Your job is to plant the seed. Spirit wants y'all to lead. Y'all are natural born leaders. You're not a follower. A lot of y'all hard work is paying off. A lot of y'all going to be collaborating with a lot of people. But you got to understand, that's your shit, baby. Okay? That is your shit. All right? A lot of y'all going to be traveling in three months, three weeks, three days. You're going to have safe travel. You're going to be meeting a lot of people. A lot of y'all going to start going on spiritual adventures. And this can be your business. Spirit is saying a lot of um, things that's going to start growing for y'all. A lot of y'all spirit is saying y'all feeling left out in the cold because you're not quite ready. It's not your time yet because you still got things that's triggering you. You still letting this, you still letting people use you and abuse you. And for some, no more being left out in the cold. This is your season to shine. People are talking about you. Someone is wishing ill will on y'all, but y'all have to learn to send that shit back. You are the magician. You are the alchemist. A lot of y'all are fays. A lot of y'all are fae witches. A lot of y'all are earth witches. A lot of y'all are kitchen witches. A lot of y'all are blood witches. It's time for y'all to step into y'all uh, calling. It's time for y'all to work one-on-one -on -one with spirit. Okay, and get the shit done. A lot of y'all get ain't going to hermit mode. Y'all moving from one situation to common waters. All right. And a lot of the, your heart is going to be broken because a lot of people that you thought was for you was not for you. I send you peace, love, and light. I say, oh.